Hey guys, it's Cindy and and Tony from What's On in Gimpy, and this is a bit different, Tony, a bit of a different format. Um, you're you're usually on the other side of the camera, but I've invited you here to help me today because you're yes. particularly good with the content that we um, we want to discuss today. Well, I've, yes, I've pushed my way in today. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drag you. <laughs> Well, thank you, Cindy. Um, so the reason that um, I've asked you to come and help me is because I think that, you know, you need to kind of let people know what's going on and what better person than you. This is we're, we're here on the stage at the Heritage Theatre and you can see around us here that, that there is a, a massive activity. We've got huge toolboxes and wires and cables running everywhere. The guys from the HME have been putting in all the uh, infrastructure for the digital sound and lighting. It's, what's the interaction with friends of the Heritage Theatre? Yes, well, the Friends of the Heritage Theatre are made up of a group of people that are representative of the people that actually use the Heritage Theatre. Uh, the f very first production we're bringing is from Artur. Now, Artur is uh, an organisation down there in Brisbane that organises tours right around Queensland. And the first show we've uh, been able to snavel is The Roaring Twenties. Now, it's a cabaret style. Yes, we can, we can we put go. that up on the screen as well. It's a Roaring Twenties style, uh, like a, a little big band, if you like, and it's going to um, be in the Prospectors Hall in cabaret style. So we're going to put out some round tables, tablecloths, lots of little candles on the table, and hopefully we're going to invite people to wear 1920s costumes to be a part of the evening. Be a part of the set is what they've said in their description here. Mm. It's going to have a jazz band, uh, special guests. Uh, in other words, they're inviting people from the community that might want to contribute to the night's entertainment. So uh, there'll be a call out for that. And uh, come dressed in your 20s style, celebrating the roaring 20s in the smoky, authentic experience of 20s hedonism. So it's Friday the 28th of October. Yes. Um, so you've got some time to Rush get ready. Festival. During Rush Festival. During Rush. Yes. Uh, 7.30, link below um, so that you can start getting yeah. organised and getting uh, tickets. Tickets $35. And at the you box can, office, Gimpy Box uh, Office. Gimpy Box Office. And there's also a, a table booking. So there's a, a table of eight and you can uh, buy that at a $25 per person uh, group booking price. Okay. Um, and then do you want to tell us about this one here, Tony, as well? Yes. Well, M Melissa Weston and uh, T. Dyer is a couple that are actually putting on the Rory's 20s show. But at the same time, while they're here, we thought, well, why don't we get them to do their children's show? And it's the, as the name is, the Lisa Sorry. and Nini Space Adventure. So they'll be on in the uh, Fossica's room on the day after the... Roaring Twenties, and uh, we'll be inviting all the kids to come down and have a look. That's $10 a ticket for this one. It's a space adventure. I'll just read a little bit of their blurb here. Their friends, Lisa and Nini, just love the adventure, and it's time they have their sight set on space in interstellar exploration. So they, they enter a songwriting competition in space, you could say, and they, um, they fly around and there's, there's special guests, Ziggy and Zork, that appear. I think it's going to be a fantastic night. These two uh, performers are fantastic entertainers and they've had a very successful season down in Brisbane. So that's the Friends of the Heritage Theatre uh, bringing their very first, um, uh, their first initiative during the Rush Festival. Fantastic. And then on the horizon, we also have um, the Heart of Gold Film Festival approaching rapidly. Yes. Now, that I think that the Heart of Gold Film Festival are going to be very, very pleased with the new infrastructure because it's going to be just in time. They're going to have new sound system in here. In the past, they actually had to hire in sound to give the cinema quality that they needed for the films. But that'll all be completely ready by the That's time. That's right. There's okay. a new digital was that sound was system. Was that timed or is that just a coincidence? Well, there's been a lot of postponement for the uh, refurbishment, but now it's, it's rushing ahead and we've got the guys from HME in here working furiously to get it ready in time. Yes. Excellent. Um, so it really is um, a very special upgrade for the entire theatre on many levels, not just from a sound and lighting perspective, but also with um, the, the Wi-Fi, I believe, and what their... Absolutely. ...the connectivity. 
Yeah, so the, the internet's going to be throughout the whole building. Yeah. There's going to be the wireless connectivity. It, uh, we've got wires running through the ceiling. As uh, John Buckley's electrical are up there crawling around. Local trying... boys. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the HME. Uh, they're actually underneath the theatre crawling around, running wires everywhere. So I think the refurbishment is really going to establish the Heritage Theatre and the whole Civic Centre as state-of-the-art function centre. Excellent. So if you've seen any events that you've been interested in, remember to head to the Gimpy box office, find the links and check it out, purchase your tickets, get organised because there's plenty happening and um, we look forward to all the excitement of Rush and Heart of Gold Film Festival. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.